raw fitter <laughs> like the guy who makes it <laughs> the guy who takes the measurements and you know sort of has to what a role <laughs> Where's LinkedIn when you need it? We were playing tennis, you know, and I had to keep Literally. saying balls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt very grown up and all that on stage, you know, saying that. That wasn't done then, right? So the audience wasn't done well. then. And I also know oh, I'm going to see it. Cyrus, he's yeah. going to be like that in the yeah. movie. You Sexy, know? basically, is the word that comes to mind. <laughs> we just discuss aesthetics and all that. Yeah. I mean, I even did a role in Hamlog long, long back. Hum uh, log. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. the epic number one greatest longest running soap saga yeah. in the history of the world. <laughs> so should anyway, a, should be a political party by now. Hum log. <laughs> Vote for us. Sharuk nice. sent a BMW 7 series to the address <laughs> in Punch. So you trained Manoj Bajpayee and Sharuk Khan. <laughs> no, no, but let's I... get it out there. <laughs> yeah. No, are you crazy? Lele says they don't even give me 10%. What the okay, hell? So yeah. <laughs> no, no. I train Baj Bai. I train Sharuk. No. <laughs> okay, the show as you know is called uh, I'll just show it to you actually. For once I actually have this. You know, ah. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know see? it's called Cyrus says. That's right. Imagine so, it sounds like Simon says that song. <laughs> I don't I feel like or no because you know there's sort of megalomaniac uh, attitude to my show now. Cyrus says. <laughs> and Five, you better hear yeah. it and you better listen. <laughs> I think I'll be the sponsor of the show as well soon. <laughs> Presented by Cyrus for Cyrus. But this is not about me. This is about Lilette Dubey who joined us in the studio. Uh, legendary Lilette Dubey. Oh, Fair to say. Sweet. Yeah. Yes. Please uh, say. Many many years of uh, excellent work. Too many years. <laughs> no. Nah, yeah. Like wine, uh, even better, <laughs> and uh, so many years, and uh, probably I'm just trying to think. Maybe, arguably, one of the best innings in the business in terms of being true to theatre. For example, you're still doing it. You're always doing it. Lots of people as they get into movies, uh, sort of abandon it. Yeah. Okay. Nasir is one guy who goes we back. We just, I was just talking to Richa about that. Yeah. That you know we are one of the. Yeah. few sort of old fossils were yeah. still hanging in there <laughs> still crazy about theater how so. dare you say that <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no you're a baby fossil <laughs> so sweet i'm feeling better already but no just looking back uh, because i'd hate to sound like a that that people are hypocrites or whatever but as they do well in life and you've done some great films and some other roles in different mediums and all that but you always gone back which in our part of the world doesn't seem to happen as people get into the next dimension they sort of forget the old dimension but you yeah. too nasir and you and i think those two great examples of like forget about all this we are actors at heart we just want to get on a stage and act yeah. it really doesn't matter beyond that which is yes. you know the true artist like sort of uh, mindset for which i yeah. think you should be given 10 points and a, a gold star and a pony okay. spanish organize a, a horse what color horse would you like With white a flowing mane <laughs> wow that's that's going to be tough so uh yeah you see um the thing is cyrus for me i began with theater mm-hmm. uh, as probably so did so many I others it. yeah yes yes true i began but i'll tell you with the difference my life goal was not to get into films or get onto screen mm-hmm. etc in fact i always call myself an accidental film actress that happened very sort of uh, later per chance kind yeah. of thing and in fact even acting and being um in the art space was something that was not on the on the cards because my parents born were, in pune let's just say me for a second pune. yes yes and, born in uh, pune because of my mummy sindhi family but we don't sindhi, some research fully I, sindhi amel amel movie i thought family. was up completely yes, i forgot yes, completely that's UP. the marriage part yeah. that is the marriage yeah, part yeah, yeah. is the Um, so Sindhi family BM from Pune. Park, Let, let's AM, just look at the background. Huh? Yeah, AMPM. There you go. <laughs> After marriage. Sorry, and you were saying, marriage. yeah, yeah. So yes, Sindhi family, highly, highly professional, if not almost academic, mm-hmm. uh, and went back several generations. Grandfather was a judge in sort of British times. Wow. And actually, that was great. Grandfather. Grandfather was first FRCP fellow of the Royal College of Physicians in Edinburgh in the thirties, wow. and they would join the army. Judge, colonel, surgeon. And, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Wow. I mean, you know, and my mother. was uh, uh um also a gynecologist my chacha my dad's brother set up the went to mayo set up the medical institute so you're the black sheep for sure I am, now i <laughs> really? am totally a disappointment i must say black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean they were high achievers yeah. uh sort of you know broke ceilings and But all no one in the arts things. No, except very weird thing happened recently. Uh, not recently, when but in my fifties, suddenly my dad wakes up. He was, he felt I was. I'm saying it not because I feel it, because my dad felt it was way too bright to have wasted my time in the arts, <laughs> and he also felt I, I did two masters, uh, one in English literature and one in mass communications. Wow! And um, 
almost stopped both. Anyway. What was the thinking there though? <laughs> Why would you the do two masters was, at that point? The thinking was, I loved doing theatre from when I was in school. When I joined Lady Shri Ram College, I had to go to college, of course. That was that was sort of mandatory. I did a lot of theatre in St. Stephen's College at LSR, and I realised slowly that I was falling madly in love with theatre and the stage and acting. Uh, so. to just sort of while the time i said i'll do a masters also you know so sort of i could continue doing theater so i didn't have to address oh, what oh, was i really oh. going to do okay so it's also to like buy you time <laughs> buy that you time, actually got a path time. a tangible yes, path yes, is yeah, on the yeah. side being made but as having well. said that my father realized that i, I love doing theater and my dad and i always were like I, i was crazy about him but you know i was a feisty one and uh, i said you know i think i may want to he said look it's a waste of time uh, he said why don't you simply go to rada or something and train yourself if you really want to do british family something. sounds like you know <laughs> general surgeon with no, the british no go to nsd yeah. point being which is a mantra i i i i believe in very much now that if you want to do something yeah. excel at it at least attempt to excel at it you may not but aspire to so don't muck around you know just doing it half heartedly and um, could you saying this to our crew really honestly finally <laughs> someone calling them out because they're doing a fabulous job because they're doing a fabulous job, they're 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 <laughs> fabulous job. Mm. so so you know you have to aspire So Actually, did you go to Rada? So I didn't go because I couldn't see a future. I really couldn't see a future. I'm a highly practical person, and I said, "What am I going to do? Going to Rada or not? I'm not going to get any work there." Right. Uh, so so, and then NSD was another option, which I was sort of half-hearted about and all that. Anyway, you weren't communist enough at that point. Yeah, I didn't yeah. carry the chola, yeah, and you know, I didn't have the. They won't let you in. I didn't have the chips. Then also, uh, uh, <laughs> your Mercedes shoulder. would have to stop far behind. You have to walk <laughs> all that. Mehnat for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> for nothing. Hmm. No, in retrospect, Cyrus, though I think I, it wouldn't have been a bad thing to have gone to NSD. But then, as luck would have it, I say I went to the Barry John School of Drama before he had a school of drama, because what does that mean? Which means that I, uh, I troop. No, yeah, troop too. But uh, Barry was the first director I worked with when I was seventeen. Hmm. Uh, got my first sort of. Audition and I got the part and all that. What was the part? That was a play. <laughs> you would have loved it. It was a play called Mixed Doubles, and uh, isn't that was, a uh, movie by uh, Rajat Kapoor? It can't be the same thing. Years some, later. Yeah, no, it wasn't the same thing. Oh God, but yeah. there was a movie. Yeah, later. This was a. A regular play in which there were couples of different ages and all that, oh. and their their little relationships and things like that. And I felt very very brave because and bold, bold and brave. What was the brave. thing? Like wife swapping or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was. We were playing tennis, you know, and I had to keep Literally. saying balls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And I felt very grown up and all that on stage, you know, saying and that this. wasn't done then, right? So the audience <laughs> wasn't done well. then, and, uh, and and it was great fun. Did the audience giggle at the at the oh, balls? Oh, totally, totally, yeah. totally. And the audience was my my opponent. So I yeah. kept saying balls, and, yeah. and I was feeling very like grown up and things. Mm. Anyway, so that was the first play, and I met Barry, and then the rest was history because he directed me in a lot of plays, and then for fifteen years, mm. uh, you know, through first year college, second, I mean, both the masters, baby. I mean, through everything, I kept working with Barry, from Brecht to Shakespeare to Tennessee Williams to Arthur Miller to you name it. I mean, we just did some huge amount of work in theatre. Any Indian playwrights then? I know Dance no, Like a Man. No, no, like no. That was actually the reason later why I set up my own company because this was terrific grounding. And in and uh, in seventy four, we set up a company called Tag, hmm. which which spawned. A decade later, Shah Rukh Khan and Manoj Bajpayee—they're all part of the same group. Of tag? Yes, part of tag. So you trained Manoj Bajpayee and Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> no, no, but let's I... just get it out there. <laughs> yeah. No, are you crazy? Lilit says they don't even give me ten percent. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. I trained Bajpayee. I trained Shah Rukh. <laughs> no, no, I didn't train them at all. But they, they worked with they you. They joined. They joined Manoj. Unfortunately, I didn't work on stage with Shah Rukh. I did. He did a play with me. Before when I did the lead, and <laughs> obviously he was very young. Uh, Don't tell me when he says balls. <laughs> no, Shalom, no. come here, beta. Balls, bolo. <clears throat> Ek baar aur bolo. I don't like it. Higher. Balls. No, 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 no. This is much, much later. 
So we set up we set up this company in seventy four. There right. was Ravi, my husband Ravi Dubey. There was me. There was a guy called Siddharth Basu, who's very well oh, known. Oh yeah, Siddharth Basu, old Babu. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the very, quiz master. Yeah, okay, he's yeah. a very, very dear and yeah. old friend of mine, close friend of mine, and a guy called Rajiv Mehrotra, who is the spokesperson for the Dalai Lama. He's done a lot of work wow. on television. Yeah. I mean, they all went into different, different areas ways, and yeah. did wonderfully well. Hmm. Abha Sood, who became uh, the principal of Sri Ram, and is hmm. like a major educationist mm-hmm. so wonderful people there were seven of us and we set up this company including a lady who used to be a big produ- uh, sort of a, a producer type on the west end so english wow. lady so she came and we set up this company yeah. so we did some i think some of barry's best work was in those early years and then about a decade later mm. divya seth and ritu oh, nice. raj oh, nice. and, and yeah yeah and so and all Shah these people Rook, have come out of uh, tag all come out of tag they all taggies we call them taggies so i mean you can yeah. call them on our show as a favor <laughs> i mean you're like you're like the godfather to them you know in a sense i mean god the mother li- li- exactly li- li- i thought because of woke we just stay yeah, yeah. i'm not sure let's just call you god god's <laughs> yeah. better yeah. so uh, yeah so i did a play with him manoj i didn't could you tell them some of these guys will do, do well in life could you tell huh? could you tell they were going to do well some of them Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, they all they were very talented. Yeah. Ritu Raj was very talented. Mm-hmm. Devya was very talented. All of them. So there was no way if they continued in this path that they were not going yeah. to do well. Uh, Manoj I didn't act with, but he was. I'd seen him in an act one, uh, another another group that he was part of. Terrific. But he asked you for conveyance. He famously asked for <laughs> conveyance everywhere he goes. Well, yeah. he didn't work with me, yeah, so enough. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but he was he was a lovely actor even then so you know you knew that if they continued this way they are going to do very well and shah rukh was just delightful even when he was young yeah. i mean he was like always on like 50 red bulls you know <laughs> like that, that kind of energy yeah, yeah. it was wonderful and he had a lot of uh, uh, you know so what's the word charisma charisma, you know, charisma. Yeah. of course he was talented yeah. and super amount of energy And there's one thing I always remember about him, even when he was very, very young, because I first met him when I very bravely and boldly tried to do something very similar to Sesame Street, a, a show for children. On Delhi. In Delhi, so I made this show with with a certain amount of animation, certain amount of uh, uh, a sort of segment which had two running characters and a segment on something else i don't remember very much like mm-hmm. the muppets yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah so so there were these muppet characters there were these real characters and there was animation right um and it cost me an arm and a leg and it was lovely and <clears throat> dudashan said it's fantastic but like i'm talking about some 45 years 40 years ago mm. there's no way you know that we can um, uh, do a thing like this which cost 5 lakhs in those days an yeah. episode so For children wow. under five, how can we do that? So anyway, in that one segment where we had these running characters who were not exactly Laurel and Hardy, but these very f- funny characters also taught you and also mm. horsed around a lot and all. Mm. One of them was Shah Rukh, mm. and he was all of eighteen or nineteen, right. and uh, <clears throat> and the other one was Rajpal Yadav. Oh. Not Rajpal Yadav, the other Raghuveer Yadav. Raghuveer Yadav. Okay, Yadav. Yeah. So they were both in it, and uh, they were both from theatre, and they were marvelous together in that yeah. segment. He was Abhishek had a clip so of it if left. So Shahrukh or Raghuveer meets you now, do they show a lot of respect and reverence and all? Because I'm thinking you're definitely one of the early influences. Well. I must say, Shah Rukh's always very, very. Shah Rukh nice. sent a BMW 7 Series to the address <laughs> in Panchal Park. No, no, he's Delhi. very sweet. He's very, very affectionate, very mm. warm, very yeah. loving. Whenever he meets me, I have to say that. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, and in at that at that time, I'll never forget. He told me, I told him, you know, uh, oh, when we were doing the play, I said, come on now, you know, something about acting and this and that and all that. You know, if you want to really be a good actor, you know, we were discussing something. He said, I don't want to be an actor. I'm going to be a star. He said that. Yes, I'm going to be a rock like, star. Like, I'm going to be a cheek star. Or like he really no, meant no, it. with his little dimples and all, yeah. but he meant it. Yeah. And so there was that kind of focus that he had, you mm-hmm. know, that he was going to be that. And what did Raghuveer Yadav say? I'm going to be Raghuveer Yadav <laughs> <laughs> in many yeah. many shows. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was. He he didn't say anything particularly, but he was he was also lovely in his own way. Both of them were wonderful in that show. Can I tell you what Divya said? We did a play called Small Family Business many years ago huh. as a young man, huh. and uh, I think Dario Four. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. Was it Dario? Anyway, I play five Italian business. brothers, so small, small roles. Huh. I come and go in 
one of them is like supposed to be naked. So I was wearing my speedo costume, <laughs> and so I had uh, some tender moments on stage. Look at the, your daughter Divya. I mean, how they suffered. <laughs> It is so sad. These stories. Um, yeah. So, uh, so that's the tag. talking about this. So the Indian, the Indian dress touch. like this. Uh. I remember my dear husband Ravi Dubey. So Wear he, speedos. He, huh? No, <laughs> he didn't. I'm sure he did when he swam. Yeah. But I'm saying on stage, he says, "I want you to meet my parents." Okay. So they're coming to see this play. And all the plays I played, Lady Macbeth. I played Gertrude. I in played all clothing, that. Yeah. Full clothing yeah, yeah. and very serious, dramatic yeah, yeah. roles and all that. And the one and only kind of sex comedy I do called Habeas Corpus, which is absolutely a scream, hmm. a scream. And Barry, incidentally, was fantastic. Fantastic at comedy. I mean, mm. he is fantastic. I have to still see someone as good as him. His timing is impeccable. Mm-hmm. So, so here we are doing this play called Habeas Corpus, mm. in which the only play in which I play the dumbest, dumbest blonde you can ever meet, mm. who just keeps batting her eyelashes, even worse than Marilyn Monroe, and you know, in How to Marry a Millionaire, and is looking mm. completely dumb, and is wearing a shift, barely covering her, you wow. know, whatever, uh-huh. and uh, in a sort of slip. And 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 doesn't know how she got pregnant even you know that sort of a silly role and, and my husband's running around. I'd love to meet this shirt. girl who doesn't know how she got pregnant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, she's one of those really one of those you know. I, I just said I'm going to do one of these really mad comedies because the whole play is extremely funny. But why did the parents funny. come for this one? The, I told Ravi, why have you invited them for this show? Uh, couldn't you think of Hamlet? Macbeth, you know, I mean, it's so many plays that I'm doing, are done, whatever. Of all the plays, they're free today. I said, I don't get they're free. They're not coming to see this. So were play. they impressed? Huh? I don't know <laughs> because the husband, my so, to be husband, is in a shirt. Okay, mm-hmm. only in a shirt throughout the play. Yeah. Being, he was a bra fitter. <laughs> Okay, That's so the ro- his <laughs> role was a bra fitter. Mm. So he ran around. What's like a, a bra fitter? <laughs> like the guy who makes it. <laughs> the guy who takes the measurements and you know sort of has. To what a role! <laughs> Where's LinkedIn when you need it? I don't know. The, is that available? Okay. That's just like a joke. The, the, it was, must have been a joke. I mean, I mean so who, anyway, so he's yeah. running around and uh, trying to avoid a woman who's very excited that he's come to you know big yeah. plump woman. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's absolute. It's a sex comedy. The right. only one I've done, and this is the one which Ravi in his wisdom. Decides that my future in law. Well, like he said, they were of course, free. he said I didn't know they're going to be our fu- your future in law. I just called my parents oh, to see the play. Other. No, we weren't seeing each other at that point. Oh, okay. Uh, but the impression is there. Uh, so no, we just other, knew each other yeah, and all that. Yeah. So he said, "Chalo, apne parents." Yeah. Said, Why are you calling your parents this play? Said, they don't care. They're but fine. Did they like it? Huh? They must have laughed quietly and all that. Yeah. But then he introduced. Thank God, it's not my daughter's <laughs> kind of you know. Oh, both funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, so you know when you were talking about speedo, I remember that show. Yeah. It, was, it was very, very. You know, the things that we do when I think back in life, do, yeah. like you just mentioned it just now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, the whole body of work that you've done. <laughs> there are also things where you're wondering why you did them <laughs> at the time. Sometimes I totally enjoyed yeah. it. It's yeah. not you know because it's something I would never ever have done. Yeah. You know if I didn't do that, and then straight after that I did a, a pinter play. You know, there so you go. that yeah. that actually defines me now that I think about it. I like a huge amount of variety. Mm-hmm. I want Want things to be such that I challenge myself a little bit every time, and some at least slightly to do something. Have you repeated the character? Never, have you done Macbeth never. twice? Lady Macbeth, for no, example, no, twice. No, and that brings me to Zubair. Because maybe after twenty years or something, you might want to do it no, again. No, I would I'm love to do. Maybe yes, you're right. Maybe I'd love to reinterpret a Lady Macbeth again, yeah. but not not most of the other work I've done. You know, this thing about repeating yourself. I remember after Zubair, I did Zubair, mm-hmm. a film called that was my first film in my mid forties. Oh, it was your first yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cutting a, a bit. We'll Across second, time, yeah, yeah. anyway. So we'll come to that. But quickly, when I did Zubeda, because I might forget the story. Yes, Give please. Me a moment. Um, so when I, I was doing Zubeda, as I said, you know, it just happened, which I'll tell you about the how the film thing happened. But in that, after I did it, there was this slew of offers about doing the same role again. In In a different that's, avatar, that's, you know, that's a typical. different avatar. Yeah. So I said no, and they said, you know, आप नई अरुणा ईरानी बन सकती हैं. I said, देखो, मुझे अरुणा ईरानी बहुत पसंद है. I love her. She she's a wonderful actress. But I don't want to be like anybody, and I don't want to duplicate myself like a clone. You know, mm. keep on doing the same role again yeah. and again and again. This role is done. So you know, I don't want to go into a draw which says, uh, you know, whatever, chulbuli, aunty, bhabi, whatever. So you're whatever. the type you're saying who once you're done, it's done. It's and done. You got to go to something done. else. Yeah, got to move to something else. Got to move to something new. So you would never be prime minister. Twice in a row, for example. But having done the role, you'll be like, I don't want to go any further. And I'm not no leading question. I'm just asking. Ah, uh, 
Like Dude, every avatar of yours has a limit. No, right? I don't know. Like I said, Lady Macbeth could tempt me. Yeah. You know, to do again something very complex could tempt me to read. Because I was just thinking, with the classical roles, you'd think yeah. for a second that so many things happen in your life personally. Of course, which you're changes your perspective right. here yes, and there, yes, and maybe the yes, way you yes. do it in twenty yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, totally no, different. that's a very good Especially point. Especially with such strong roles. Yes, it's a very good point. In fact, the other day only I was thinking, my God, I was only nineteen when I did Lady Macbeth. I'd love to look at doing her again now from. A, Absolutely different perspective, interpretation. Actually, I'd always dreamt of doing the male Shakespeare roles because they're much more interesting than the you female ones. You sexist bastard, William. <laughs> <laughs> Just anyway. segueing for a second, if you had to cast Shah Rukh in a uh, Shakespearean role, a classical role, which one would you put him in? Where do you hmm, see? Very interesting you question. Put him, like, say, a Mark Anthony or a Brutus. Or King Lear, you know, he's too young for King no, Lear. No, 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 none uh, of those. Othello, I'd, I'd, I'd Othello. put him in one of the comedies. I'd put him in Midsummer's one of the comedies. Uh, yeah, in Midsummer, he'd, he'd make a wonderful puck. He'd make a wonderful puck. The young a, Charuk, the full yeah, of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. With that energy, he'd make a yeah. wonderful. Older one in one of the, one of the sort of, uh, I don't know, as you like it or something. He'd, he'd be great uh, playing two roles, you know, uh, a man and a woman kind of thing. He'd, mm-hmm. he'd be very good at something like that. Mm-hmm. He's he's very good at comedy, you know, and he's got that romantic yeah. uh, sort of side to him also. So something that, that though he's always told me, I'm not always, but once I remember he told me. Every day me, when he calls you. No, no, no. <laughs> once he told me when we were shooting, I've sh- shot for two or three f- of his films. He told me that, you know, uh, this romantic hero and all that is nice and all Both that. Okay. Love to do a action. And, you know, so when I saw him in Pathan, in yeah. fact, I should message him. Uh, I saw him in Pathan. I said, you know, this is what he really wanted to do. He be this Bond. He said, you yeah. know, be like this he's Bond guy. He's always had the Bond thing. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. always, he said, I'd love to play like a Bond yeah. kind of character. And I thought he did it very well. In mm. fact, very restrained and very He'd nice. done a film called Bacha long ago. Mm, it didn't I work out it. that well. But I think that was really something he wanted to do in terms of the character. Yeah. The interview him on MTV and also I remember him talking yeah. very openly about yeah, yeah, yeah. the fact that this is the guy he, yes, yes. the Peter Sellers um, uh, you know the parody Bond meets the Roger Moore Bond yes, Sean yes, Connery yes. Bond somewhere yeah, there yeah, yeah, in the middle yeah. of both you know. yeah yeah so yeah. he'd always said that anyway huh. so uh, <clears throat> no, no, huh. the, actually the question we lost for 20 minutes was uh, but look at how weird life is you hmm. see because full circle 20 odd years later in my mid 40s I come to Bombay because Ravi gets called by Ratan Tata to come and work with him right. nothing to do with me or my aspirations but yes prologue to that is that cable had started so I had started working in cable I mean mm. I even did a role in Hamlog long long back Hamlog? Uh, <laughs> yeah It's yeah. the epic <laughs> number one greatest longest running soap saga yeah. in the history of the world <laughs> So should anyway, a, should be a political party by now. Come low, <laughs> vote for us. <laughs> so, uh, so starting from there, then when cable came, I started doing work in cable, and I think the stuff was much better than what it is now. Right. And I worked for a few years in that, and then which I started in Delhi actually for Z and things like that, and then cut to I come here, mm-hmm. also with theatre actors actually, with Vinod Nagpal, with Manohar Singh, and you know people like that I was working with, and then I come here, but I always treated it as something very enjoyable. As a parallel activity. I never ever thought this becomes my main course mm-hmm. of life, you know. So anyway, I come here and uh, just perchance, first uh, Aarti and Kailash were making a film, which sadly never got completed totally. It was completed, but a lot of problems with the distributor, producer, whatever. So it didn't come out. But I shot that first. And then I shot a film <clears throat> called Bhavandar. Bhavandar was with Nandita Das. It was a, a it was a rape case, actual rape case and all mm-hmm. that, in which I had a small role. It didn't come out first. And then I come here and I was here maybe a little while and I start hearing from different people like, you know, you're telling me, so and so telling me, uh, Shama Zaidi is telling me, different people started telling me, you know, you're doing this lovely role in, in uh, Sham Babu's new film, you know, mm-hmm. it's beautiful, Auntie Rose, such a cute role and I'm saying, hmm, okay, okay. Then um, uh, this one, uh, I think, 
Rajit. Rajit, I mean, you're doing this lovely role. Yeah, lovely role in, you know, this yeah. movie. And someone else. That's someone an impression else. of Rajit. I, it was <laughs> done very quickly, so I won't ask her to repeat it. But it was really, <laughs> the hand movement was so Rajit. Huh? And uh, I said, oh God, am I doing it? But, uh, you know, it's so odd because he, I know him. I met him a couple of times socially. He never told me I'll that I'm you. doing it. <laughs> so what you're, do I do? Uh. <laughs> then, I mean, it, it got the better of me. And one day I just picked up the phone and I said, Jam Babu, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. I'm utterly embarrassed. But am I? By chance, by chance, doing anything in your <laughs> new movie? Because everybody else seems to. <laughs> because be. everybody tells me that I am. He says, "Of course you are, my dear. You're doing Auntie Rose." And I said, uh, "Well, one small problem." He said, "What's that?" I said, "You haven't told me." <laughs> but he said, "Haven't I? Just come to the office right now." I swear. He thought he, he had. <laughs> he thought he had. And he or told someone everybody had. else. I've and got to live for this part and all that. <laughs> and all that. So I land up at his office, mm. and I'll never forget. Because it was like my first really big film, and he said, um, "Would you do me the honor, my dear, of playing Auntie Rose and all that?" And I said, "Oh, I'd love to." And we just discuss money is very sort of you know, cursory. He pointed. It's a Shah medical film, <laughs> 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 and uh, that's how the film career started. And then it's such a it's such an irony that so many years later I have. A manager at this ripe old age, and all these ah, years, really? I never had a manager. I just yes. one thing happened: Zubeda happened, Gadar happened, Monsoon wearing happened. They just know. kept rolling. And, and Richard told me the best is still to come. <laughs> and also on the show, we have to take a quick break. The best is still to come. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasts Network. On Cock and Bull, Cyrus Puneet and Noel discuss about naked NYC comedy shows and the massive U.S. accounting error in sending aid to Ukraine. On Explain Like I'm 10, Meghna is joined by comedians Gaurav Pawar and Noel Cordero. They explore what is universal basic income and its potential to transform society. And on page 10, Nikhil Meghna and Karan talk about the recently released movie Adi Purush, the ongoing violence in Manipur and the Reddit blackout. So folks, if you like our show, spread the word, tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You'll also find all of our shows on YouTube.com/IVM Podcasts. So anyway, so cut to this film thing started rolling, 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 mm-hmm. and it just happened on its own. And th- like I was saying, when Zubaira came, they said, you know, do it again. This thing, do it again. Similar characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They want to put you in I'm a sure. draw and write over there. Aunt Lilet Rose will big. become like Aunt Dolly or something. <laughs> Literally, like little bit different. Little yeah. bit, yeah. hardly. And no, no, it's a draw. You see, it's like the villain. It's a this. Yeah, Now it's yeah. changed. Now it's so wonderful. Everything is just melded and no nothing. But some know. character actors do get caught like that. Huh? They just made to play the same thing as being successful. Yeah, the same of type. course, of course, yeah, of course, know. because it's so easy to just you know keep yeah. replicating. And I also know oh, I'm going to see it, Cyrus. He's yeah. going to be like that in the yeah. movie. You Sexy, know? basically. Well, this is the word that comes to mind. <laughs> we just discuss aesthetics and all that. Yeah. I know. I was just admiring the. Biceps Let's see how well she can act that. now. Hmm? <laughs> Sexy, hmm? <Lilette>? close. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it can also become. Uh, uh, you know, the thing you brought up is very interesting because I find cinema. Or let's say screen being on screen is a trap because it's such a visual medium and we are so utterly spoiled, yeah. you know, on stage. I can play a ten-year-old, I can play a ninety-two-year-old, and I've played both at, right. at mid-age. So and your its suspension of disbelief is Correct. complete. I sit on a big fat ball and I say I'm sitting on the balloon. I mean I'm sitting on the moon. Nobody argues. And, and yeah. nobody argues. It's yeah. all believable because there's nothing real that has to be there. It's all imagination. It's all in your imagination. But here. It is so literal. Mountain means you have to see a mountain. You know, <laughs> if there's a lake, are, you have to see the people lake. People start saying that production bekar tha. No, people uh-huh. actually have become so critical about everything. Yeah. yeah. So you know, in cinema, you get you get very very quickly um, sort of categorized, yeah. yes, ca- and compartmentalized. That this is what you suit and what you look, and God forbid you do it well, then you've had it hmm. because that's then what you're supposed you're to replicate like a little clone again hmm. and again hmm. and again and again. So which becomes utterly boring because in theatre. 
all we're doing is looking at least i am range range mm. range you mm. know age character this thing that thing type it, of play i don't want to talk about the podcast and you know uh, it's like blowing out trumpet but the whole idea of the longer format is always better for the artist i would think you know of because course, you get so much more time people, for us to see you as uh, for example why like, are people still hung up and abroad of course you'll find many more that was the first thing i found when i went abroad and i done films and things and when people heard that oh you do theater there was this like oh that you know oh my god you're a theater actor but it's also here there's respect for the word theater is there not i don't think so i don't think but so our, our boys are very uh, happy when he's led uh, away from theater as well as film so it's not you know yeah maybe because the other part was also there you no know, that makes it popular <coughs> because you can't beat the medium for people no you can't you. it was a revelation to yeah. me cyrus i did theater for so many years i mean i'd started you know like i don't know 25 years before i did zubeda hmm. literally to, or 20 years and i do zubeda and in that one weekend yeah the amount of people who saw the movie across not just india but the world wherever it was released mm. was i mean it was it was a complete shocker to me that you know here have been sort of slugging so it hard. out yeah. and my own friends my own close friends from theater from not non theater saying oh you know you, you were so marvelous you're such a nice good actress i said listen What the hell is wrong with you all? What have I been doing oh, all these we years? Didn't no, we didn't notice. Didn't you it, notice you, anything? You're good actress, that, I mean, yeah. I'm not a bad actress, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. We've seen your plays and all that, but that's the mindset, you know. They see you on screen, and suddenly, so many people see you. But then, of course, the fallback, the bad part is they see you in a kalho na ho, mm-hmm. and then they come to see a play of mine like August Osage County, and where they're disappointed because you're not singing. And, <laughs> what is this? Yeah. This is what we were expected to see. Yeah. We thought Kalona was a kind But of character. That's true. That's you know? true. Honestly, so they get a shock. That is a culture shock. If if, if I'm weaned on Kalona, who and then I have to come, I can understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I'm the weirdo. Maybe who... you should have two names. Risha, <laughs> take this down. One name for theatre. I think Lilith Dubey is very uh, theatre sounding for me. Sounds like an intellectual, no? and you should and be Lily a Lily Dubey. No, exactly. You should, be, <laughs> no, you should be a Lily Kumar or something. You should be very clear. <laughs> No, but you know, in in film, I don't also do only that, na. So no, I mean, I don't only. There's a Bo Barracks, there's a My yeah. Brother Nikhil, there's a Monsoon Wedding. They're all different yeah, kinds yeah. of movies. There also, I keep saying, I don't want to do the same thing. Okay. I don't want to do. Before we run thing. out of time, I need to talk about those films. But there's one question for the last forty minutes we've been trying to get to, which is the <laughs> Indian playwright and yes. coming to Mahesh Dutani and yes. the and the legendary what seven hundred shows or something of of, yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. Dance Like a Man. Yeah. So so, so yes, I've yes, I'm very proud. Yeah. Please. I'm very proud of that. So I I was looking for that first play, which was good, going to be an Indian play, and I told Mira, who's an old friend of mine, Nair, mm. that you know what you did with Monsoon, I kind of did with uh, Dance Like a Man at least five years before, mm-hmm. uh, because we found an Indian play with an in, very Indian voice, a mm. very Indian sort of ethos, right. and yet very universal that it could travel. It's traveled five continents and. Just completing six hundred and seventy shows. Wow! Um, so obviously, we are twelve hundred ninety six podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so anyway, etc. etc. And uh, and it was really because you know, Cyrus, we'd always been doing all of us plays that were very well established. Uh, at least I had been doing with Barry, and and suddenly I was doing a play with no one had ever heard of. Twelve years that play lay on the shelf. Uh, Mahesh, Mahesh did four shows of it. That's it. Really? Yeah. That himself, and then nobody. This ever, is in Bangalore. Yeah, and nobody picked it up. And it was just dead. Uh, yeah, it was just like there, Sorry, undone. Yeah. And and uh, so in those days there was no internet. I mean, no uh, fax was the only way you could yeah. get something, or by post. There was no, of course, um, email and all that. So we're talking about ninety four. Ninety four, right, right. and I wrote to Seagull. You know, send me a whole lot of books, and I spoke to Mahesh El Kunchwar. He said, "Go to Mahesh Dattani. He's writing some interesting stuff." Anyway, blah blah blah, like a sleuth. Hmm. And I fly down to Bangalore, and I meet him, and all that. And he gives me these lovely three or four plays. Hmm. In fact, one of them I haven't done, which is an excellent play. And I come back, and my partner says, "Let's do Where There's a Will," because it was a full-on comedy. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. where there's a oh, will. Oh, we yeah, read yeah, that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And also somebody's done it. Yeah. Somebody's yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. About this guy who dies. Yeah, and correct. You know, whatever. Yeah. The ghost. The ghost. Yeah, yeah. And the other one, Dance Like a Man, was entirely different. And mm. she said, no, no, no. Nobody's interested in the Bharat Natya mole yeah. dancers and all that. Forget, forget, forget. Mm. You know, over the hill that too, and you know, forget, forget. So we had this little bit of a creative tussle. And I said, look, I'm directing. Mm. I will do something that resonates with me, and I love this play. So I don't care. I, I, you know, you are producer. You do the producer part. I will 
thing. So we do it, and I still remember that opening night because <clears throat> it was like the first time this play Delhi? was born. Delhi Kamani. Mm-hmm. It was not even hundred percent full because people didn't know this animal. Right. You know what is dance like, yes. man? Who's my age, the Tani, and who's going to spend money and all? But we had some wonderful people in the audience, like um, what's his name, uh, the the Sarod Maestro uh, Amjad Ali. Amjad Bhai was there yeah. A lot of people All the cultural literacy Wife and two kids So that's yeah. four Yeah, yeah. You, you got an audience. I don't know if the kids The kids yeah. went to school With uh, Neha But I don't know If these kids were there mm. But a lot of these dancers And you know All these Culturati From Delhi was there And I'll never forget After the show There was this Standing ovation of course wow. And Amjad Bhai And all came back With tears in his eyes He's a very sensitive Sort of person mm. And said you know This is about us Our Yeah, artists yeah. are like the fading so of the light beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah and all that and he was so moved so moved and I realized okay something we had done right something and mm. Siddharth Basu was in it with me at that time right. and of course Vijay Krishna took over later mm. so it was it made me feel that okay this is the path the path has opened in front of me and this is the direction I want to go in and for the rest of You know, I'm just going to keep doing Indian plays, yeah. and I'm going to do them in English because I don't have the web at all. Not to give it a racist tinge, but uh, it is odd that growing up we didn't think of localizing more. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying you should do one or the other. I mm. think you should do everything. It's not a problem. You know, yeah. I mean, the classics yeah. are the classics in whatever language. Yes, make yes, a yes. But uh, but that's why I said the, the classics for the actor sometimes the reality. No, it was such a big difference. I can't tell you the classics are the classics. I mean, that's why I said I went to the Barry Jones School of Drama. Right. He put me through my paces in 15 years, and I was utterly spoiled. Mm. He's very good. <laughs> he's very good and he put me in every play in the lead he yeah. was utterly spoiled and yeah. never auditioned wow. you know i was yeah. just it how sad for the rest uh, uh, the lead role will be played by uh, lilet now uh, neha read <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway so i mean he was he, of course he read and all that but he gave me a lot of really good work to do and i think that's what trained me as an actor completely but i began to feel this you know that this little alienation mm. calling myself mary alice yeah, and all yeah. and oh, Ohio or somewhere, somewhere. I wasn't quite feeling. Is it really me? And is it really you who can connect audience, with this? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's why I've been why. called Mary many times. <laughs> Got into lots of fights because of that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so to come to the main thing, I think it became clear, and then a lot of people said, "Why not Hindi? Why aren't you taking Hindi work outside?" And you know, we got so many. I remember I did a play of Mahesh Elkunchwa called Autobiography. Mm. Get a chance, read it. It's a very Rashomon type of play. Mm. The same thing seen from different four or five different perspectives yeah. and all that. And um, I remember this Los Angeles company that saw the play came and told me, Are you "Sure, it's been written by a, an Indian writer." And I said, "Yes." Of course it has. So I said, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult <laughs> because mm. the way you're saying it. He said it's too sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. can't imagine somebody, yeah. you know, in India writing wow. something like this. Mm. So it was nobody. You know, we've Where's gone. Where's the government when we need them? <laughs> I mean, this Cyrus, is... we've gone to places huh. where they never heard of. an indian play like yeah. you know wellington new zealand where john yeah. cleese had just played before wow. us and then we go but we have also performed for mrs rajshri bella she she sponsored a play of ours mm-hmm. called sammy in factories in gujarat in hindi mm. on the ground they are eating samosas factory workers yeah. and watching a play so yeah. it's from there to there So I'm very happy Market that Market dictates uh, No it's just I like that yeah. I like being able to do it in a in a in a in a garden to doing it where John Cleese performed to performing right. at the Tribeca where Mr De Niro Majors come to see the play you know it's all very really? exciting no he didn't come. damn you robert <laughs> bob i got him bob so so but, you know but you raise a good point quickly i'll just ask you this so when we do things outdoors you get spoiled indoors with the acoustics yes, a bit of a challenge yes. outdoors yeah, yeah, especially yeah. with long dialogues yeah, people I'm start losing interest and all that yeah. i just noticed that that's you know, dynamic changes just with that yeah because the wind and the, the sound wind, goes and, you know, here and there distract and looking yeah, everywhere yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And you so can't I think we should them. lock up the audience when yeah. we're performing all of course yeah. of course completely we spoil them <laughs> barricade them yeah look at them <laughs> misbehaving on the phone 
that kind of thing. Yeah, that's okay. It. We are running yeah. out of time. I want to yes. quickly get into the cinema part of it yeah. as well. Um, so Zubeda, of course, but then Oops, uh, I think so I think sorry. that is uh, Sham Benegal on the phone. Just <laughs> very quickly, take it. It could be he wants you to play the same role again. He's forgotten he cast you. <laughs> be <laughs> quiet. Just we have be, to keep this in. We, we cannot it. remove no, this from the podcast. No, 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 please. No, no, no. <laughs> this is what happens. This is the theatre first. <laughs> Look at me. I yeah, completely no forgot but this. For the record, huh? who was it? I have can't tell you. Please. Do share. Nahi bata sakti. Nahi nahi. Nahi nahi abhi nahi. Phir kab? Phir jab milogi. Ah, oh kab hoga? Oh god. Coming soon. <laughs> a cup of coffee. <laughs> That's the show. Yeah, and so mine's where my cup of coffee's gone cold completely. Let's look, let's look at uh, the top 3 films you've done since we have only that much time. Uh you got I realize so I've done hell of a lot, you know. I know it's a tough question to ask. No no, I didn't realize I'd done so many the other day I was Should I read them out? I've got them all <laughs> no, here. No, no. There are about some between some good television abroad. And I'm not talking about television here. Ouch. Uh, no, no. Unnecessary. <laughs> no, no, no. What I mean is counting only what I've done recently in Fair television. Enough, yes. That was pre film. Mm-hmm. What I did in Indian television, let me tell you, and I want to say it for Hamlo, the record, for was much better. No, I did a f- thing called Or Phir Ek Din. I worked with Raman Kumar, Vinita Nanda, some very nice directors who I think their work was way ahead, ahead of, of their the time. time. Yeah. So what I meant was before film, whatever I did, I'm not talking about that because that was solely television. But now in the middle, I've done sort of Channel 4, BBC and this and that. Uh, so I'm saying what I've done say f- when film started that body of work I was looking it was almost 70 things I've done and I don't you remember half these Seven films zero. yeah wow and it doesn't seem like that to me that I've done so many films and and some some uh, let have you got the padmashri No please can you put in a word Devotion? can you put in a word I'll get it organized in 20 minutes <laughs> please but you may do. have to work in one of our files <laughs> So in one movie, of you <laughs> a new movie called something files <laughs> are you willing to uh, compromise no. this no. is the new compromise is <laughs> political new compromise, compromise. It's not sexual it's anymore no, it's purely no, political yes exactly people, people pray it's sexual <laughs> it's, it's so scary the political one yes yeah. i agree totally with you no yeah. no files of any kind okay absolutely so, so give us quick quick word on monsoon wedding Uh, these are the most popular ones so i'm just just coming to my head immediately ah uh, monsoon wedding the biggest compliment i could pay mira was that it was like doing a play mm-hmm. because we were there together for some 25 days in the same place you know living eating shooting together and we had a wonderful bunch of actors a lot of them were from theater so so it was wonderful and i think the most beautiful thing about that movie was nobody expected any such result you know uh, it was a one movie i feel that N- mira had you know she made from her heart it was about a community mm. it was something she really wanted to make so i think every film that's made from such a pure uh, intent and motivation but has a very different outcome but also the and identification for that was just spot on wasn't spot it spot on and I mean, you know nothing like that had come no before that no one had thought of doing it but it no, just yeah yeah, yeah. it's so it was it was very well done it came from a very pure place she put all her money in it herself and it just exploded when it when it came and, out and it was, but you know let me tell you the funniest thing about yeah. it I couldn't go for the the Venice thing, okay? It won the Golden Lion after right. Satyajit Ray. Golden Lion. Yes. Oh. It, and she's not lion. <laughs> and I'm not lion. Yeah. And I and she won it after Satyajit Ray in '54, in 2000. So, so many years. Almost 50 nobody, years. Yeah, more than 50 years. A woman, yeah. and uh, and after such a big gap. So anyway, nobody knew that, of course. Mm. I mean, it was getting great reviews and things like that. And when I when I so when they were going to Venice for it. I couldn't go. Hmm. We didn't know we were going to win, of course. Uh, Ira had just got a scholarship to Yale, and which was a big, big, big deal. You hmm. know, uh, I think uh, Cathedral Cell. After I don't know how many decades, there was a scholarship for some, really? something like Yale. Yeah, it was. N- n- anyway, so she was going, and she was all of seventeen, and uh, of course she said, "You go, mom. You go and all." But I just couldn't go because it was uh, she was entering college, and I had to you know drop her and things like that, and it was clashing completely. So I had to choose, and I chose to go with Ira. So that's not the main thing. The main thing is we won. and there was a delightful red carpet and ye wo hua and all that and i was the only one of the few left here from the leads who hadn't gone so you know so the media started asking me 100 questions you know everybody was calling what do you feel golden lion ye hua wo hua blah 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 It and all this excitement there was a controversy of sorts that you didn't go no no that was not the thing then i meet 
I will not name, but producers and directors from here who uh, heard this big hullabaloo over there, over here, and this and that. And they came to me and said, Ha, your picture ne, uh, you know, it won this award. And I said, Ha, and all that. And they had the gumption to say, Ha, achiti, achiti. But you know, <laughs> it was like a, it was like a party, wedding home party, video, uh-huh. a home video type of uh-huh. thing, you know. So I said, "Aap ko laga ke aisi thi? Ha, matlab usi type ki thi. Usse achhi thi. I mean, it was done very well. Home video, matlab achhi home video. Achhi, a very good high level home video, video. high level <laughs> home video type of thing. So you know, uh, so and I'm thinking to myself, see the sensibility is so different. But I'll tell you Can one you thing. You asked me about this? my films. Uh. I learned one quick lesson. I did Zubeda, I did Gadar, I did Monsoon. You know yourself how different each Absolutely, of them is, yeah. and I realize how different is the demographic of the audience. So I walk into the Taj. Okay, hmm. Harper's been after me, Collins, to write my memo. I must remember this story. Right. And I, uh, because I've said yes for four years, I haven't done it, but I'm going to do it. The book it will now. release on this podcast. To yes. Yes. To watch it. So. I walk into the Taj. Yeah, I have three films only under my belt, mm. and the the Darbhan. So Ravi was, you know, ultimately vice president Taj and all Great. that. So of course, uh, I was going in for something or the other, and I'm standing at the door, and the big Darbhan six six and all that. Mm. Ah, madam, mm. kya picture thi? Konsi? So I didn't have to ask. Uh. I knew it was Gadar. Mon- Gadar. Had Obviously. to be Gadar. Achha, achha. Six you, six. You've given a community touch to it. Yeah, as yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah. way he said it yeah. and all that, I was totally blown. Yeah, yeah. And they all sunny papas, yeah, whatever, yeah. you know. Yeah. Big fans. The whole Diol family is, yeah. you know, Huge. Sort of loved by Punjab. Yeah. So, so I remember I was in a cab once and I was shooting, I don't know, the other only, and they asked me, Madam, how are Hima Papi? I said, Hima Papi? I said, who's Hima Papi? <laughs> so he said, Hima Papi? So they meant the Minder's, uh, uh, I mean, wife. Uh, wife. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was doing a Sunny Diol film. So mm. they thought, you know, we're all very pally yeah. and I probably One big, uh, <laughs> talked to her every family, day yeah. or something. So I said, oh, Hima Ji, ha ha ha. Okay, and all that. Kesi, what is she like and all that. So they all adore the Diols. Mm. Huh? Uh, I have another crazy story about Gadar, which I have to tell you. Mm. So I go into this big hotel yeah, mm. where Sunny Diol is staying and everybody is staying and mm. da da do 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 And they are cordons, I joke not, mm. cordons to keep people at bay when he walks down from mm. the lift mm. and goes to the mm. car and all mm. that. You know, people baying for him and screaming. Sunny for him. Sunny 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 uh, I came out of the lift and I was walking down and all that. And now I had only done one film, okay, Zubeda. Mm. So I was walking down and all that. And I heard some shouting and roaring going on and all that. And I thought, oh, Sunny must be at the back. Mm. So I looked around, no Sunny. Mm. So I said, by chance, are they? So some of them were saying my name, wow. okay. Uh. So I felt very sort of mm-hmm. chuffed and all that. I didn't kind of thing. I mean, jokingly, mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't give a damn about all this. Mm. But anyway, so I'm walking down, and there was this uh, Sadaji mm. who was shorter than me mm. with a, a, a turban, which was like a you know, bit like an attack missile, you know, very yeah, pointed like one, this, big, and pointed, all that, big one, yeah. pointed one, like this, and very tiny fellow standing behind this, mm. this barricade kind yeah. of thing, yeah, shouting for me, like screaming for me. Me, you know, yeah. and there were these huge burly sort of cops saying, yeah. and all that, and <laughs> shoving it yeah. back. You know, he was very small. And suddenly, as I was passing, I said, What's happening? Because he mm. kept saying, LNG se na baat karna, LNG se. Mm. So I said, Are Baba, let him talk. What yeah. is he going to do? Yeah. Can impale me with yeah. his yeah. turban? So they said, I sure. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he peers through this thing. And he said, Manu, in Punjabi, he says to me, which is not my Punjabi, is not very good. But anyway, Madam, Manu, I have a girl. So I said, yeah, yeah, say it, say it. He said, I have to say that your vo- sound box is coming. <laughs> so I said, oh, okay, thank you. He said, no, you have to say females. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I said, oh, Thank you. You know, people say, have anyone said anything about your voice ever? I said, nobody can beat this compliment. No, no, your sound box is Kamal. So anyway, so when the monsoon, uh, I was saying about uh, monsoon, basically. Mm-hmm. Now, so I was saying I was walking to the Taj. Mm-hmm. So this guy says this. I walk in, there's a gaggle of sort of uh, what do I say? M- uh, Marwari Fans. women. Oh, Marwari right. women, uh. huh? Come rushing up and all that and said, ah, We just loved your role. I've got your role done in this movie. Mein aap na, and all this mm. very sweet and, you know, very enthusiastic and all that. I didn't have to ask them. Monsoon really? No. 
Huh? It had to be Zubeda because Auntie Rose driving an MG and saying men and horses are more my style mm. is the kind of aspirational woman really? they would love to be. Of course, of course, to have that kind of freedom to be her own person. So, I mean, of course, I, I clarify. I mean, I, 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 I sort of uh, confirmed. Mm -hmm. I said, "Are you talking about this at Hans or the Auntie Rose and all that?" Then I walk into the party, and I meet a whole lot of people, and I meet Anand Mahendra, you know, and people like him, and mm. they say, you know, that movie, what a great film. They were talking about Monsoon. Monsoon, really, really. finally. Yeah. So in one, like one right. short five that could minute, be a play, you know, yeah, how people see yeah. you is almost Rashomonic again. They see yes, you from different yes, perspectives. Yes, 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 and yeah. uh, what, what, and, and the which others. movie they liked. Yeah. So you know, there are so many Indias that were catering to like and identify film. with also. Yes, yeah, yes. Like, so it was a real revelation to me that hello, in five minutes you understood. I have a thing that we should do. We're running out of time. I'm happy to do yeah. names, but I, very quickly I'll tell you, and that is we. If people recognize you, call your name. They should pay money. I feel, you know, <laughs> if, if they say Lilette, it should be like thousand bucks immediately. There should be a law that if, if you call my name in public, I get, you know, a minimum. Oh God. Minimum guarantee. What do you think? <laughs> no, Are you in? No, I'm not in. Why? <laughs> no, don't be silly. <laughs> come on. It's so irritating if people keep calling your name and then you have to guess which film they guessed. You know what I mean? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Are you ready for the AMAs? What is that? We've gone way above time, so we have to go very quickly. AMAs ah. are questions that uh, people have sent in. Ah. Uh, so we have a running uh, Discord server where people talk to Sparish, our producer. Oh. And when we say you're coming in, we had lots of questions. We can only take three or four, so we'll take them. Uh, this is from Dibya, Dibya Nanda. Why did you join the movie so late? You could have easily given Madhuri and Sridevi a run for their money. <gasps> How sweet. I mean, that is, you know, I thought I'd got one of the best compliments with the sound box, but yeah, it's this almost is, got right there. Up there. Right Same up place. There, right up there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just it, it's destiny. I I never wanted to join the movies when I was young. I was sitting in Delhi raising kids. It's like Anil Sharma. You said, also sort uh, of didn't want to. Not really. I mean, in the sense of the kind of cinema was also very different. I mean, maybe if Sham Babu had called me or someone whose whose sensibility was more mine, I might have come. But I just didn't think of it. And I think that life has a has a plan for you, which you you don't know probably. But I know one thing that uh, that uh, when I came when when I was young, I never thought of it. But see, it had to happen. So right. even though it was in my mid forties, and I must tell this this person yeah. that. Divinanda. Anil Sharma said exactly the same thing to me. It was very sweet, Anil Sharma, who made Gadar. He said, <laughs> His point was like, I made 10 bad films. Where were you? Finally, I've got this great one. I'm just kidding. You know, you should come first. But that, I think that's a great... It's like how you ask sports people. Uh, the question is that uh, you should always ask, why did you ret retire? Not, uh, yeah. you know, why don't yeah, you? Yeah. So the opposite, the reverse is also correct. Yeah, like, where yeah. were you? Yeah, it's because yeah. they appreciate you more. So in a sense, it's... I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's a better way to be. It's very sweet. It's a huge compliment. But there are lots of artists like, why are you still here? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing <laughs> so Anu says apart from theatre which other art form are you mm, most fond of art form outside acting I mean I appreciate architecture I appreciate art as art painting yeah. you know sculpture and what all do you that. think of our studio yeah. but what I would love to have done mm. actually it's very cute your studio what I'd love to have done if I hadn't done this was probably uh, singing I love singing I love music and I studied nice, Hindustani nice vocal I had once a lovely voice. What do you mean once? What the hell? Meaning I don't train. You know, so music. This, this woman is looking for compliments <laughs> all the time. I can't get singing, it. singing is something you have to do riyas. Then your voice is going to be good. It's not that you sit for... Have you been on YouTube or Insta? <laughs> Nobody's doing riyas. I know, yeah. I know. But then that's why I don't know any of them. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, Bruce Wayne, What when interacting with fans, which role do you get the most appreciation for? This is a tough one because like you said, there are different markets. And which celebrity do people confu confuse you with the most? Two questions. They don't confuse me with anybody. Uh, some few odd people say I look a bit like Dimple, but I mean, it's a bit of looking like, not in terms of character or personality or, you know, or mm. roles. So not really, not really. They don't confuse me with anybody else, thank God. Uh, but um, Interacting? The, play, the movies, I think that I can think of the first five, six that always people, it's in this space. It's either Bhagwan or Kalona Ho or Monsoon Wedding or Best Exotic. those are the blockbustery films also. No? So yeah, they, uh, Best Exotic Marigold. Because ah. yeah, those two also people, yeah. especially abroad, yeah. people have seen them. Uh, abroad also a couple of my shows, I did something for Channel 4 and for BBC. So some of them have seen those. Um, 
and of course the regular su- usual suspects the gadar and the, the that will haunt you forever monsoon <laughs> every time you're leaving taj <laughs> <Zubair. laughs> <laughs> uh, Harbans asks please tell us about your experience you mentioned it just now with richard gear in oh, marigar hotel Ah yeah so because She's you know heavily. no I'm not breathing oh, heavily heck? I'm bre- I'm breathing I'm, I'm it's like a sigh of oh god that question again oh, I'm sorry. it's that sorry. but yeah he I, I loved him he was a wonderful co-actor he was a very funny guy he was a uh, very uh, uh he's a very warm person he's a very mm-hmm. affectionate person mm-hmm. you know so somehow this whole vision of him as this big sex the symbol and all that sexiness goes out when you that. work with people anyway no and and also this big, big sex symbol and all that. he's so he's so he's so uh, sorry about that so, age <laughs> <laughs> he's so uh, you know i'll tell you a lovely story about him which gives you a little bit of a feeling about what he was like mm. he was when i met him only he sort of took me and swirled me around and he was very very warm and very very mm. sort of affectionate and then once we went shopping you know there was i think uh, no i was going and he said can i come along and all that and i said but you know it's it's jaipur it's the market you know what, what you're going to be swamped with people so he said no no honey i know how to float uh, i know how to what he said i know how to fly under the radar so he put his the cap on yeah. his glasses yeah. on and everything and everything and all yeah. that and he just came with me to the bazaar mm. in jaipur mm. but the truth is of course a lot of people don't don't recognize him because they don't see his, his films, movies yeah. so there i am with him and he's uh, and, and people are coming to me and saying are madam oh, madam and all that, you know? complex <laughs> richard gear doesn't want to no, work in no. india again yeah. he did get a complex i mean he was so adorable because yeah. he's a lovely guy he was i mean he's still like a friend and yeah. all that now even i yeah. i i'm very fond of him yeah. but what he did was amazing so you know they came and uh, they started uh, wanting photographs mm-hmm. and all this rubbish selfies and things so uh, uh they said uh, sir aap le lenge and he said ha ah, ah, of course <laughs> so he took a nice picture oh, and all I that i wish someone so shot he that that would be I so swear. funny and i was so embarrassed wow. i said nahi nahi aap jante nahi hai ye kon hai ye kon hai so they said kon hai ye i said bahut bade hollywood ke star hai and all that acha acha sir aapke sath bhi lenge baad mein aap ek hum madam ke sath pehle de dijiye so he is taking a picture so this goes on okay so he becomes he's so naughty after a little while he starts saying um You want a picture with ma'am she's yeah, really yeah. really yeah. famous yeah. star and yeah. I said you shut up so he said I'll take it you know I'll take the picture and all yeah. that so he was really cute i mean he was so so unaffected i was you know i mean come on he's richard gear yeah, yeah. finally we went to a very big shop and this and that where they recognized him and things like that but he was totally cool you know these guys and it's not just him even the other ones that i've worked with who are very big stars abroad yeah. they're very casual they don't like all the 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 paraphernalia i mean bill nye was once telling me that he just walks and i know people who met him he just walks through london yeah just like a I normal person i saw denzel person. washington on the streets of new york nobody yeah, bothered him yeah he just had a cap on that's it yeah that's what i'm yeah. saying i myself will let i can walk in bandra car <laughs> and except for the police saying kon hai idhar nahi gaadi mat laga all that other than that i'm, I'm okay yeah, yeah you know like so we're good. cool people we don't we're get biggest, affected by that <laughs> <laughs> all right we've so gone beyond time oh, you yourself said you wanted to go and it's like way yes, beyond yes, the time but uh, i just I wish we could talk please come back so we can talk some more there are lots more questions i can ask them because time is out how sweet um but this has been a pleasure thank you very much